Vice President of the Royal Western Australian Historical Society, retired librarian and lifelong cinema historian Jack Honeball, talked about the little-known stories of the rise and decline of Perth's picture theatres for the Australian Museum of Motion Picture and Television in 2013. Jack also wrote a history of cinema for the publication The Moving Image, The History of Film and Television in Western Australia, 1895 to 1985. In this publication, he lists Ye Old English Fair at the corner of Hay and King Streets and the Cremorne Gardens and Theatre at the other end of Murray Street as being the first moving picture venues. They were followed by the Theatre Royal in Central Hay Street, which opened early in 1897. The Queen's Hall in William Street, which opened in 1899. His Majesty's Theatre, which replaced the fair in 1904. Esplanade Gardens at the foot of William Street from 1908. The Melrose Gardens in Central Murray Street from 1908. In Hay Street East was the Star Picture Pavilion in 1910. The Shaftesbury Gardens in James Street in 1911. The Olympia Theatre in Hay Street in 1911. Then there was The Princess in Fremantle in 1912. The Pavilion in 1914. And then The Palladium, both in Hay Street. The Majestic and the Grand, all in 1916. The prestigious Prince of Wales Theatre opened in 1922. In 1927, the Hoyts Regent Theatre replaced the Queen's Hall on the same site. The Ambassadors opened in Central Hay Street in 1928. The Capitol replaced the Esplanade Gardens in 1929. The Art Deco Plaza opened in 1937 on the site of the Majestic followed by the Art Deco Piccadilly in 1938. Also in 1938, the Metro replaced the Regent on the same spot. Jack went on to describe the distribution networks, the suburban circuit and the introduction of drive-ins before detailing the post-television era. Jack Honeball has been a member of the Friends of the Batty Library since its inception and a very strong supporter. Jack is listed as a gem of time for his outstanding contributions to the recording, collection and preservation of West Australian history. Jack Honeball also compiled many articles for the Royal West Australian Historical Society, which in 1986 conferred on him their highest honour, Fellowship of the Society. <laughs>